the Philadelphia 76ers are officially going to make a huge run at trying to sign Mike D'Antoni in the 2020 offseason. What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to talk about with you guys. This time actually revolving around the Philadelphia 76ers yet again. We seem to have a lot of news with this franchise, especially you know in the recent couple of weeks. But it's currently being reported that one of the reasons the Sixers have a lot of interest in Mike D'Antoni is feeling with some in the organization that he can help lure James Harden to Philadelphia and also potentially reshape their offense. This is all being reported by John Clark. Now, I'll of course be making a separate video on the 76ers being interested in James Harden. So if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, I highly recommend doing that because again, all the latest NBA content will be coming out. So yeah, definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But I actually really, really like this move by the 76ers. I think if there's one coach they need to go out and hire, it has to be Mike D'Antoni. The only issue with that kind of, you know, the kind of thing is that he will, he could still most likely sign elsewhere. There's been a lot of common interest between Mike D'Antoni and the Indiana Pacers. And I don't really know if Pacers fans would like that. I don't know if the Pacers organization should actually pull the trigger because the Pacers have had really their whole entire franchise. They've been very, very defensive heavy. Well, not really their whole entire franchise, um, in the, their whole entire existence, but in the most, you know, recent years, and especially, you know, the most recent decade, they have been very, very defensive focused, and I think bringing in a coach that is, you know, specialized at making, you know, different offenses, and really changing up the system, and all of that type of stuff everywhere he really goes, I don't think that would really work, and you know, you've looked at the players that Mike D'Antoni has worked with, you know, you've had Steve Nash, James Harden, Carmelo Anthony, I just don't think I really like if, you know, I don't, I don't really think it would make sense for Mike D'Antoni's best, you know, player to be DeMontis Sabonis. I feel like a team like the 76ers would just make so much sense. A team that actually needs to reshape their offense. A team that is going to try and be a lot more offensive heavy than defensive. You know, again, that's just what the Indian Pacers are. That's who they are. It's what they've been known for to be in the league. I doubt they're going to want to change it up that much considering their two best players, you know, well, two of their best players in Miles Turner and DeMarta Sabonis are so defensive heavy, not exactly the best shooters around. You got TJ Warren, who's a great shooter, still a very decent defender. Oladipo and Brogdon are still very good defensively as well. There are a couple of really nice offensive you know, minor players in that team, but there's no, like, real big offensive player that kind of stands out to you, you know, like a James Harden, like a Ben Simmons, like a Carmelo Anthony, etc. So I don't really think it makes that much amount of sense for him to potentially go there. But when it does come to the 76ers, Ben Simmons and the team really needs to reshape their offense. Like, I mean, it's absolutely terrible. The Al Horford and Joel Embiid, you know, partnership was just, it, it's absolutely disgusting at this point. It's pretty bad. They even need to trade Horford or Embiid. And, you know, I'm never, you guys have, if you guys have been watching the channel for a little bit now, you guys would probably know I am not a fan of Embiid at all. I mean, it, they're just so much better when he doesn't play. Like, I mean, let's look at it like this. When the Sixers had Embiid injured and they just had Ben Simmons at point guard and Horford at center, they were winning so many games, like they were winning consecutive, consecutive after consecutive games, while when Ben Simmons was injured and they just had Al, uh, you know, well, Joel Embiid rather, they were winning as many games as they were losing, and then when it got to the playoffs, they completely got swept, so I just don't know how I really feel about Joel Embiid. In my opinion, yes, Joel Embiid's the better player than Ben Simmons, but it's so clear to see that Ben Simmons is so much more important and vital to how the Philadelphia 76ers go, and I, th I do feel like, though, the duo of Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid could still potentially work, you just need to trade Al Horford, you know, one move, uh, you know, there's been a lot of rumors that they could be interested in Lou Williams, the Clippers obviously desperately need a center that can space the floor while still being good defensively, you know, they've got Zubac who's just average at everything, You've, they've got Montrezl Harrell who's just 
under height to play center, so he can't start. I think Horford would have been perfect for the Clippers, and as reports, I think, well, they could actually potentially maybe be interested in him. Again, there's, well, there's not really too many reports at all, if not at all, but again, the fact that the Sixers are interested in Lou Williams, I would assume the Clippers might have some common interest in there. If they could get rid of potentially Al Horford and maybe a first to bring in Lou Williams. That would be extremely, you know, insane for them. They finally have a six man to back a point guard. I definitely feel like they should go off the buddy healed and just have, you know, Simmons continue maybe to guard the, just go and guard the small forward position now. Tobias Harris can now guard the power forward position. And then the spacing would be absolutely insane. Like, look at that. Ben Simmons at point guard, um, you know, you know, Buddy Hield at shooting guard, Josh Richardson at shooting guard, uh, at um, small forward rather, Tobias Harris at power forward, and Joel Embiid at center, with maybe Lou Williams, Alec Burks, etc. off the bench. I'm sure Mike D'Antoni would be able to figure maybe something out to try and reshape their offense, make it, again, very shooting heavy. Like, I mean, if he could get Ben Simmons shooting... That would be really nice, but of course, he'll, he could have a lot more shooters around him now. He could have maybe Buddy Heald, Lou Williams around him instead of having potentially Al Horford at power forward and Tobias Harris at small forward. I just don't like that at all, and I feel like they should definitely try and do that, and that would be, you know, the must-make move for the 76ers. And then, you know, again, Mike D'Antoni being such an offensive-minded powerhouse coach, I really feel like that... If he was, you know, in the room drawing up a couple of systems that he think would be good for the team, I definitely feel like he could really come out with one that might really, really benefit the way the 76ers want to go about it and how the 76ers, you know, want to play. And again, they just need to get a lot more spacing in the team. The defense is already pretty insane, but it's clear to see they probably got the worst spacing in the league. Their offense was not even top 15 at the you know, end of the year. Like, I mean, especially when Ben Simmons went down, I don't even know if it was a top 20 offense. Like, I mean, look at it. They had no playmakers. They had not one playmaker at all. Their second best playmaker behind Ben Simmons was like Al Horford averaging four assists. And you cannot have Al Horford as your second best playmaker. It just doesn't work. It's not going to win you games. And again, the fact that he was your second best in assists is pretty crazy. They need to go out and get a backup point guard. I feel like Lou Williams, who's averaging close to six assists, could, you know, definitely, he uh, maybe, yeah, definitely fulfill that role as being a backup point guard off the bench. Then they can get rid of Al Horford's big contract, you know, maybe bring in Buddy Hield as well with a couple first round picks. I definitely feel like something like this could potentially happen, and again, it's just all set for Mike D'Antoni. If I was him, I would definitely be taking the 76ers job over the Indiana Pacers. Not because I like, you know, the Sixers more as a team or I would rather live in Philadelphia or anything like that. Just based on the fact that I feel like 76ers with one or two good moves could be way, way, way in front of what the Indiana Pacers would be as a, you know, as a championship contender. The 76ers have well-established stars. They have Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, um, the Indiana Pacers' best star, like their only player that made the all-star team was DeMontis Sabonis, and I just don't think DeMontis Sabonis can be your number one star. If they could get Victor Oladipo healthy, um, and get the whole team healthy again, and maybe make some moves in, you know, the trade period, then I definitely feel like they could maybe get back up there. But the 76ers are just years ahead, in my opinion, you know, even with this bad roster that they've built with the non-spacing, it's only a couple moves to really fix it. If they can get rid of Al Horford, bring in some spacing, get another backup point guard, and get in a very nice offensive-minded head coach in Mike D'Antoni, bang. It's already, you know, mostly fixed. They just got to go execute it now with training and all of that type of stuff. So, again, I know a lot of people aren't really too much talking about the 76ers anymore because of their bad season. But yeah, I feel like we need to put at least a little bit of respect on their name if they, even if they could get Mike D'Antoni. Yeah, they should uh, start to be a little bit more respected and could actually be dealt with as a threat in the near future. Again, especially if they can bring in Dan Tony and get rid of Al Horford and his contract. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest NBA content and NBA news. Of course, don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on this? Do you guys think it would be a really good idea by the... Uh, 
by the Philadelphia 76ers to go out and get Mike D'Antoni? Do you guys think they should maybe go out and get a different head coach? I'm going to definitely really like to know all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. But of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash long channel. Definitely don't forget to check out my podcast as well if you haven't already. Links for them will all be in the description down below. But as I was saying, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.